the administration said the abbreviated vetting puts children at significant safety risk but is needed to meet the deadline. Chris Meekins, Deputy Assistant Health and Human Services Secretary for Preparedness and Response, filed a declaration that he is fully committed to meeting the deadline. However, he does not believe the placing of children into such situations is consistent with the mission of HHS or my core values. U.S. District Judge Dana Sabrov took umbrage at Meekin's statement, disputing the official's interpretation of his orders and saying that safe reunification could and will occur by July 26. Sabrov said in court Friday that the administration had largely complied with orders but, at the same time, he indicated he will be monitoring its actions ahead of the deadline. The judge said the administration must provide a list of names of parents in immigration custody and their children by Monday and complete background checks for them by Thursday. He scheduled four hearings over the next two weeks for updates, including one on Monday. The task is laborious, but can be accomplished in the time and manner prescribed, he wrote in his order. Evelyn Stauffer, a spokeswoman for Health and Human Services, said the administration proposed its plan in the interests of transparency and cooperation after concluding that the abbreviated vetting was necessary to make the deadline. Within the time the court allows, we will strive to implement the most comprehensive procedures possible to ensure child welfare, she said. We look forward to continuing our close work with the court to accomplish the goals we share of safe, expeditious reunification.